In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how to configure two different options for self-service group management. We'll have a look at how we can create a group that has open membership and validate that users can join the group without owner approval. And we'll also have a look at how we can get users to create a group naming policy and enable users to create and manage their own groups. Right, so the first thing we need to do is create a group. So we'll just come into our Exchange Admin Center, go to Recipients, go to Groups, and what we're going to do here is create a new group. So click on our little plus button here. We're going to create a distribution group and what we're going to do with this distribution group is we're going to set this up for a group of users called tech discussion so we'll call it tech discussion we're just going to leave administrators the owner we'll scroll down a little bit further won't bother adding any members at this point here but we will leave it as open membership and we'll also create it so that we can have our users leave automatically as well so we'll save this off here Next thing we need to do is just verify that users can add themselves into the tech discussion group. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move across to my client machine. Just going to log in as my user armor and sign in. Now that I'm in here, I'm just going to go to the options page. We'll just get rid of that uh, meeting request. That's all we'll do here is come to the settings and what we'll do here is we'll go for options. Right, then what we'll do is we'll come to groups and then within groups what we want to do here is we actually want to join the group the right, next thing to do is to join the group so all we'll do here is we'll click on our little join button and what we want to do here is we want to join tech discussion and then what we'll do is we'll select join and so as you can see, we've now successfully joined the group tech discussion. So we'll select OK at this point here and select close. So what we'll do now is we'll just verify that he has actually joined the group. So what we'll do is we'll return back to our client access server and our exchange admin center. So what we'll do here now is we'll just double click on tech discussion. And then what we'll have a look at is we'll have a look at the membership. And what we can see in the membership is we have indeed added the user, the user has added themselves. So we'll cancel out this. Next thing we'll have a look at here is configuring group naming policies. So if we do enable users to create their own groups, we still want to maintain some control over the names assigned to distribution groups. So what we can do here is configure a group naming policy to manage names assigned to distribution groups created by users. And in this policy, we can configure a prefix and a suffix that will be added to the name of the distribution group when it's created. We can also block specific words from being used as well, just to stop users from messing about. And with a group naming policy configured, users can then provide the display name for the group and the prefix or suffix that we've defined will then be applied to the group. So in order to configure this, all we need to do is come to our More button under Groups, and what we need to do here is just configure a group naming policy. So what we're going to do here is just under the group naming policy for the prefix, what we'll do is click on our little drop down, and we're going to go for text. And then in the case of the text, we just need to enter the text. So we're going to have email dl underscore, so we'll select OK at this point here. And then what we're going to do for the suffix is we're going to go for attribute this time. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for, at this point here, we're going to go for company. And select OK. So as we can see down here now, what we're going to get is groups created by users. We must follow the following naming format. So we're going to get the email DL underscore, whatever the group's called, and then company on the end of this. So now that we're happy with all of this, next thing to do here is just select save. Now we've done this, the next thing to do is to actually allow users to create groups. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this uh, role to everyone. Out there in the real world, you'd be doing this to targeted users. Last thing you want is every user in your organization creating distribution groups. So the first thing we need to do here is configure the permissions. So we'll click on the permissions tab. And then what we're going to do on the permissions tab here is just click on user roles. And the next thing we're going to do here is just edit this default role assignment. So we'll highlight the role. Click the edit button, and now what we'll do here is we'll just set up the uh, various permissions. All right, so we'll scroll down a little bit, just find the groups, and we'll turn the tick box. So it does enable individual users to create, modify, and view distribution groups, and modify, view, remove, and add members to these groups. We'll select save here, and we'll say, yes, we do want to apply this permission. 
Now we've done all of this, next thing to do is check it. So to do that, I'll just go to my client machine. That's what I'm going to do here is just log in as Aiden. Once I get in here, I'm just going to go to the options and then we will go to our groups. And so in settings, into options, and then what we'll do is we'll come to groups. Then what we'll do here is just under distribution groups that I own, we'll just select new. And what we want to do here is just create our new group. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to create a new distribution group called AX admins. And we'll just repeat this as well, just in the alias. Now we've done that, we'll just select save. And as you can see, in accordance with this group naming policy, which we created before, our email group has been created and it is called email dl underscore axadmins a dot datum. So that's the name of our company. So we select OK at this point here. And that's the end of this demonstration of looking after self-service groups. Thank you.